One of the frustrating things is that in the past many times couples would go through an initial IVF cycle and this involves a lot in terms of many fertility medications that they have to take. People are uncomfortable because the ovaries are stimulated and many times that initial IVF cycle you may not get the success that you expect out of it. So under those circumstances if you're fortunate enough to have embryos that you're able to freeze after that cycle it gives you more opportunities to get pregnant further on down the line. We all know how expensive the IVF process is because of the technology that it involves. By doing a frozen embryo transfer cycle, this is a much cheaper way to get pregnant because the cost that's involved with that is a fraction of the cost of the in vitro fertilization. So again, for somebody that's had a failed cycle, that may give them an opportunity further on down the line. We also have some couples, especially if you can have somebody that has a good stimulation and produces a good number of eggs, one of the things that this allows is that if they have a sufficient number of frozen embryos for future use, they may only go through one single IVF in their lifetime. And they may have a significant number of embryos so that they'll be able to complete their families the way they wish. And when you talk to most couples these days, the desired outcome is to have two or three children. So sometimes they can do that just with one IVF cycle alone. One of the other advantages of doing a frozen embryo transfer is that compared to the initial IVF process, it's so much easier. Uh, IVF is not easy on patients as, as they go through a treatment cycle because they have to take all of these injections in order to stimulate the ovaries to produce lots of eggs. And, and that causes a large amount of bloating. It can be quite uncomfortable. Those cycles need to be monitored very carefully. It requires a lot of office visits. Doing a frozen embryo transfer is much similar because we are not stimulating the ovaries. All we have to do is to give some hormone medications just to prepare the uterus for the implantation of those embryos. The advantage of that is that, you know, number one, you don't get a lot of the side effects that you typically do during an IVF cycle. The second thing is that it doesn't require a lot of office visits. We can pretty much put those cycles on autopilot. It's also possible to program things ahead of time to know exactly the day that you're going to do the embryo transfer. So this way a couple can plan for those things. But it's much less disruptive in terms of their lives as well as having a good success rate.